My name is James L. Moore the third. I'm the EHE Distinguished Professor of Urban Education and the Executive Director of the Todd Anthony Bell National Resource Center on the African American Male at the Ohio State University. Uh, much of my research focuses on black males, in particular uh, black males at, at the elementary, secondary, and the post-secondary levels. Much of my work focuses on the factors that influences their decisions to major in certain uh, fields as well as look at the academic persistence of African American males throughout the educational pipe. Um, as I said before, much of my work focuses on uh, black males and I've conducted numerous studies but one study in particular uh, that stands out is a study that I did with some colleagues many years ago. Uh, it was looking at students in engineering and their persistence. And the, stu and the study focused on, I coined a theory called the prove the wrong syndrome. And we found out that there are certain factors that influences students' persistence within the engineering enterprise. Um, for example, Claude Steele, a well-known social psychologist, he says, uh, when minorities and women do not do well in an academic domain, it has more to do with the stereotype threat. And I found in my work that many of these young men were aware of the stereotype threat, and meaning that they entered these engineering domains in which they weren't the frame of reference, in which there weren't high expectations for them, at least that was their perception. And in turn, that motivated them to work even harder to disprove what they perceive the environment perceived in them. And one statement that stands out among the young men, one young man said, I spend so much energy trying to prove others wrong rather than prove that I'm right. And what makes that stand out to me is that there's a theory within the public health literature called the John Henry effect. And in essence, what that means is that uh, John Henry, if you know the tale, he was a big black male, big black male stud who thought he could outdo of uh, the railroad, the machinery part of the building the railroad. And he still did it the old fashioned manual way. And he outdid the automated system. But to make a long story short, he died at the end. And so it, what I learned in this study is that success is not without psychological and emotional consequences when you enter a domain in which you're not the frame of reference in which there's not a critical mass like you and so there this study has been cited numerous times uh, and across disciplines and many times people contact me and say why did I call it the prove the wrong syndrome why did I choose syndrome as the choice of words and I true I we chose those we chose those choice of words primarily because syndrome they became so immersed in trying to prove others wrong rather than focusing on reaching optimal achievement for self and so that stood out and but I think it's broader implications beyond the engineering domain I think it has uh, implications in other domains as well.